This one is great for discomfort on the outside of the knee and also discomfort on the outside of the ankle. So we want to start with our press basics of our toe splay and press. Splay and press. Make sure we do this one for our warm up at least 20 to 50 times. These straps not only have an adjustment with the buckle here, they also have an adjustment for Velcro, so I can make them longer by changing the Velcro. I'm going to bring the Velcro halfway up for this one. The starting position with this, just like all the others, we want to be fairly weighted onto our feet. We need some weight of our body pressing down through the floor because that's what starts to activate that biomechanical chain. So the principles are the same. We want to scoot forward on the chair and we want to hinge, do a hip hinge or just lean our body over so we can really lean forward and put more pressure through the ground. The press points on this are going to be the very outside of the leg here on the outside of the fibula, thinking more to the back of the leg, more to the back half of the leg, pressing out through the bar and not necessarily the front half of the leg. And we wanna think the lower outside heel as well. And we want the lower outside heel on the very bottom back, thinking about not just pressing out, but clicking out. So it's this idea of rotating this back part of the heel almost around to the front, like someone was standing in front of you and you wanted to show them this very back bottom edge of your heel. So the position with your toes down looks a little bit like this. We're doing internal rotation through those hips. So we're stretching like that. And the position that's advanced on the toes looks like this, where we're stretching the feet around like that both positions to, to really protect the ankle. We want to make sure the toes are splayed as much as we can apart and stop you from sinking into the joint in a weird way. So we really want to keep those toes splayed maximum. It's this juxtaposition of coming out on the bar, out with your heels like this, but keeping your knees fairly close, not opening your knees up like this, like that. Okay, so now we're going to take the bar, the press X bar, and so do not use the press X bar with the straps along the legs in this way if we are in standing. We're only using the press X bars with the strap around our legs when in seated positions. So I'm going to first try it, level one, with the press C bar around my lower legs. I got my toe splayers on to help keep that space in the toes. And just remember, it doesn't take the place of actually actively spreading your toes. It's just in addition, it helps create some space there. So we're gonna splay our toes, press them into the ground, and then come out on that press X bar, thinking about that back half, that back half of the leg, pressing out into the bar and the heels and the leg rotating around to see the front. So let's practice that. Press up, press out, press into the ground and relax. Come up onto the toes, press the straps out, press the feet down into the ground, leaning slightly more forward over your chair and relax. Splay, press the back half of the leg out into the bar, relax keeping the knees together. Splay, raise the heels up, pressing the back half of the bar out into the press X strap, leaning forward and putting a little bit more pressure back into the ground through those foot knuckles. Back into the ground and relax. Keep going. Press up, press out, Press into the ground and relax. Come up onto the toes, press the straps out, 
press the feet down into the ground, leaning slightly more forward over your chair, and relax.